Julius Malema Ote to those who are threatening to leave after December, they must leave, right? Uh, there are people in the EFF leadership who are saying they want to leave if they are not part and parcel of the conversation of a leadership here, EFF. Definitely they must leave. Those are the words coming from uh, look, uh, the EFF leader, Julius Malema. He's saying they should leave with immediate effect, right? Guys, you know, if you ask me, uh, in fact, if you have watched my videos, I, will, I was adamant that I don't think that there is that much of a crisis in the EFF. Uh, other people have pointed out, newspaper, newspapers have come out to say, guys, there's a problem there. There is a fight over leadership. I did not believe them. Like, guys, I seriously did not believe them. But it turns out that uh, I was wrong. It turns out that I was completely wrong and I miscalculated certain things. Why? Because Julius Malema himself, he now comes out and he is now telling us that, yes, there are problems in the EFF. When other people were saying that there is a crisis in the EFF, I did not want to believe them. And I said, nope, that's not the true, right? That's not a true reflection of the situation. But it turns out that in all of these things, I was definitely wrong. Yay! Guys, now um, there are people in the EFF leadership who are saying, if they are not part and parcel of the conversation of leadership, they must go. Right after that, the name of Mbuisen Ntonzi started trending. He is currently trending number one. Uh, Malema, I think, is trending number three. He's currently trending number one. Now, I want you to listen to yourself. I want, I want to do yourself a favor. There are two videos that I'm going to insert. The first one is when Malema was saying that these people must go, right? Other people are saying he was saying it to Ndlonzi. Hey, uh, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. But take a look at what Jules Malema said here. Because they want to see whether they will be emerge in the upcoming third national people's assembly before they decide whether they will remain in the EFF or not. Many of them are using the third national people's assembly as a threat that if they do not get elected or are not part of the leadership discussions leading up to the conference, then they will leave and join MKP. We must never be blackmailed by those who want to threaten us with leaving after the third national people's assembly. I want to say to them, leave now. Leave now so that we can know how many soldiers we have in this struggle to liberate our people. You must leave today because nothing is going to change between now and December. Nothing is going to change now and in the future. The future looks bright because we determine it today. We are here to make our destiny for how the future looks like tomorrow. Leave now. We have no reason to beg anyone. If you want to leave, leave now and leave us alone. Even if we are alone, we'll always continue to speak truth to power. It's very painful. Okay. Um, now, the reason, I'm, the reason I decided to mention this it is simply because, um, it is simply because, yo, this is interesting. The reason I decided to mention this is simply because somebody posted that on the 11th of August 2024, Nlonzi was, um, was on his way to, was on a flight to Deben. So one will say, but uh, how is that a problem? I don't know. I don't know. Because apparently everything now is a problem. And it is a problem because even Shivambo, it has been said that Shivambo was uh, working around Devon. Uh, I think, pra, pra, look, was it a was it few months uh, when EFF was dealing with the elections, he was deployed around Devon. And so people were putting one, one plus one together. But it is... The EFF leader himself that seems to be, I don't know what, about it, he seems to be um, uniting the forces together. So to make sure that uh, people are, are, are rallying behind him. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that as well is simply because uh, I was listening to a conversation of where it involves um, a journalist and people have been saying that in the EFF, there were the look. The EFF was divided, uh, leading to look the negotiations during the during this whole thing. Yeah, 
the negotiations during this whole thing, yeah, during this whole thing, yeah, what is the thing? Uh, GNU negotiations and everything. Uh, EFF was divided. Julius Malema wanted a position for himself. And even prior to that, Julius Malema stabbed uh, uh, Shivambo's back. And you know what I'm saying? He felt betrayed. I did a video about that and it's out there. But you know what is what is coming out of Julius Malema's mouth? Hey, it leaves a lot to be desired. But there's one thing that doesn't leave a lot to be desired and it is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay as we proceed okay now i'm gonna play you the next the next video i'm gonna give you the next video where julius malema again is taking a jab at some uh some of the uh, look eff leaders now we were told at some point that uh there was an attempt to get rid of julius malema uh, we were told that the, the EFF leadership was divided into two. I did a video about that, so I'm not going to go into I'm not going to go into details about that. Uh, they were divided into two. Uh, there was a group that favors Ushivambo, and there was a group that favors U Umalema. Going into was it which conference, right? And people were saying that uh, Shivambo needed to replace Uchulias Malema, but yeah, that we all know that that didn't happen. So since that did not happen, uh, we're now seeing what we are seeing. We are seeing uh, Ushivambo leaving. We saw Ushivambo leaving EEFF. But before I can even proceed with this thing, right? Let me tell you, <laughs> let me allow you to watch the video, God Julius Malema, here. There's no single one of them who can ever say I betrayed them. I've never sold anyone in my entire life. People used me People used me for self-enrichment. People became what they became. I never used them for anything. I can tell you now. When they were accused of killing Godrich's daughter, I stood up for them. If I had a problem with them, I would have been a political opportunist. And said, you are now accused of a serious allegation. You need to step aside or step down while we're investigating. I said they will never do that. I didn't have to talk to them. That's how much I believed in these comrades. Had something like that be said about me, were they going to say, not him? Had something about me raping a person said about me, something about rape about me, being said, will they say the same thing about me? That not him. But I said without asking them twice whether you were there or not, I said, it's not true. I don't know the facts, but it will never happen. They will never have done that. At every opportunity in their private conversations and in their own cocoons, they took that opportunity to discredit me and speak very bad of me. And they thought I didn't know about it. I know them for who they are. But because I chose you, I choose to live with them for the sake of the unity of our movement. So, um, so look, there's a lot that has been said about the EFF, look, the, look, the cracks within the EFF and... Uh, one of the person that stood to be blamed in all of it is Julius Malema himself. So 
when a person was saying to me MK Party was going to face more problems than EEFF itself uh, because they were new and they were not going to win the elections, um, I said to them, hey, you are dealing with Jacob Zuma here, a well-experienced individual, and yeah, they have their fair share of problems in the MK Party, but it, uh, apparently now you can see that they've got, the EFF itself has got a fair share of problems. Um, we can see it for what it is now. Uh, the fact that uh, the fact that U Julius Malema has confirmed what journalists has always been saying, hey, it just leaves a lot to be desired, and it just gives you the vibes that you know what, what is it that we don't know, and how much we don't know, how much of it that we don't know. There are lot. There's a lot that is happening here. There's a lot that is happening that side, U EFF that we probably don't know but yeah you know when i think about the situation gun loans for instance people are saying please don't touch on loans because people are suspecting that uh, part of the people that are local will leave e eff it's actually it's actually un loans they are saying that you know please leave our local loans alone he's the future president he's the future what what and he must be involved in the leadership naturally i would have thought that uh for instance uh i would have thought that he will be involved in the leadership one way or the other i mean the man has done some the man has done something for the party so i would have thought personally i would have thought Nlonzi, will definitely be part and parcel of the conversation of a leadership. But we don't know what is happening in the EFF. Now I'm starting to believe what the journalist has been saying about the EFF, um, the cracks within the EFF. And I honestly did not believe it, right? The crisis, right? The, I honestly did not believe it. Also, there is something that came out, guys, where it has been said. I was listening to a clip where... EFF fired somebody. Now, I need you to pay attention to this one because it's very important. EFF fired somebody. And the person that was fired by EFF couldn't explain where he got the money. It turns out that the person who gave the money is none other than Ramaphosa. And the person lied. And Julius Malema says, I gave you enough time. I, I forgot the, the clip. You know, I did not uh, save the clip because I didn't think that. I, 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 in fact, I saw the clip today. I didn't think that within look, a few hours, I will need that clip. But you can find it where Julius Malema is speaking and is saying, we, 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 we got to realize that the person who has been sending money from this person, it has been, been, it been, it has been none other than Ramaphosa. So that's why we saw that the infiltration of political parties by Ramaphosa, look, it has been happening. Now you will remember, again, the reason I'm mentioning this is because now that the EFF is in shambles, now that there is squabbles in the EFF, now that there is this back and forth in the EFF, it now reminds me of... Uh, this thing to say who has sponsored these squabbles in the EFF turns out that in the past guess who sponsored that guess who sponsored that in the past so you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying in the MK party the same has been said uh, now ooh, look let's start within the Baga Chablan Kumalo you'll remember that Chablan Kumalo was accused of receiving serious and exorbitant amount of money from who? From who? Do you remember that the same person couldn't explain where he got, uh, how he suddenly had two expensive houses, one in Umtlang. They say, look, and I forgot the other one. One, look, the, the other two things that he couldn't ex look, explain is him buying an, a, a, a two million run car and a, another car, another expensive car. He couldn't explain all of those things. With that being said, we now get to see something of a similar nature that has happened to EFF. Remember again that uh, something of that nature almost happened to EATM, Gabo Vuyazungula. 
where it was also discovered, guess what? Figile Mbalula was involved in the mix. Okay, guys. So, what I'm trying to say is, the crisis that we're probably seeing here is a sponsor, some of it is a sponsored crisis to destabilize the political parties. And, <sighs> it's give, it, it, <sighs> there's something here that doesn't make sense. When the, uh, when the, look, it's called what, the progressive caucus gather themselves together, suddenly there is this crisis. I man. I man, guys. No, 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 no. Guys, there's something here. That I think right now we need to start paying attention. There's some way we're not paying attention. Now, remember, I've already given you the history to say, this person has been accused of sponsoring this. This person has been accused of sponsoring um, uh, destruction, sponsoring this. It is not the right time now to go back and say, chances are even in the EFF, there are people who are sponsored to destabilize the political party because of their interest as well. Because, I mean, honestly, the more this political party have, uh, the more they have more problems to deal with, the more they, the less they are, are the, the less they will make them a priority. So it's it, it do them good to deal to destabilize this political party so they can they can look so they can have internal squabbles. So Bona they can continue cruising. But I'm a man, Bona doesn't subject to correction. So what can I say? Nothing except to say electrically. But there's something that doesn't make sense to me. Make it make sense to me in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about it. Do you think it's a coincidence that there's such a history and sudden... Guys, there's something here. There's something here that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah? Now, <clears throat> now I must study this political thing, these political things, you know what I'm saying? I must take it seriously because there's something that doesn't make sense to me as of now. But okay, guys, we'll see each other in the comment section below.